Farm Pass extensions, Super Boosters recap, and more. Watch until the end for a surprise. Hey, long time no see. It's your host, Camilla, and I am thrilled to be back with you after a little detour through some other exciting projects over here at Supercell. We're embarking on an incredible 12th year for Heyday, and we don't plan to back down in any way. Quite the opposite. There is always something to do in Heyday, so you can rest assured that we have an exciting year ahead of us with new features, events, and content. But first, let's give a warm welcome to a new face joining the team. Hi everyone, I'm Lavinia, your new community manager. I'm super excited to be here and we'll be chatting more in the upcoming period, but for now, let's jump into today's episode. Make sure to watch until the end because there's a surprise waiting for you. We are working even harder to make Heyday better and stronger. It's been a mix of taking apart and rebuilding, and we've learned a lot throughout this process. Crafting this experience isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. A step-by-step -step process that requires time, but most importantly, your feedback. The goal is to make Heyday better than ever, so many people play it for years to come and remember it forever. We are going to share our progress with you in each monthly episode of Dairy News. Monthly? That's right! You are going to see a lot of us from now on, but expect the content of these episodes to change every month. Sometimes you'll get a first look at brand new events and features, other months we'll dive deep into the latest content, and of course those crucial bug fixes that keep our farm running smoothly. Let's talk updates. Since our last chat, we've introduced two big features, farm pass extensions and super boosters. We know most of you already got used to them, but let's do a quick rundown so we can explain their purpose a bit better. The Beta Farm Pass is now available for everyone. It includes the Farm Pass, Party Pass and Festival Pass. The last two are extensions to the regular pass and meant for players who want to go that extra mile, progress faster each month and get extra benefits, such as temporary extra barn and silo space, decorations, chick vouchers, XP and more. Don't worry, they don't affect the current farm pass experience in any way. The regular farm pass will have the exact same format and type of rewards that you are used to. You are free to choose the best option for your playing style. If you'd like to complete the passes faster, we also added the option of unlocking additional seasonal tasks using diamonds. Rest assured, even without this option, you will be able to complete the entire farm pass road each season. This feature still has the beta tag, as we want to improve it in the following few months, and your feedback will play a big part in that. Super boosters are also here and ready for everyone above level 35. They're power-ups that massively increase production for a single building, but just for an hour. The strongest one is a 5-star Super Booster, which will allow you to speed up the production by 12 times. You'll be able to get them from Farm Pass, Mystery Boxes, and Derby Rewards. I'm sure they'll be really helpful when you need some stuff done quickly. This month, we celebrate the beauty of winter with all kinds of thematic decorations. And what a better way to end it than with the task event. You have until the 23rd of January to finish the event and enjoy all the frosty decorations and rewards. The event will feature three unique decorations. Owl's Nest, Winter Pavilion and Winter Sleigh. We are introducing a new schedule for our daily events so you can plan your farm activities in advance. Each day of the week has a type of event linked to it, and this is what you should expect. Every Monday is going to feature a spin the wheel event, Tuesdays are all about truck orders, boat events sail on Wednesdays, Thursdays bring the town visitor events, and Fridays are a double treat with fishing events and a special double points farm pass bonus. Then the weekend kicks off with either a global event on both Saturday and Sunday, or with a combination of two daily events that can be either a fruit boost, crop, pet or mystery box events. So for example, we could have a crop event on Saturday and then a pet event on Sunday. We hope this new schedule will help you plan ahead and maximize your fun. But that's all for today. Keep an eye out for our next Dairy News updates and see you next time. Bye! You made it this far. Before you go, scan this QR code for a special surprise. If you don't have a device to scan it with, you can also find the link in the description of the video. Enjoy!